I wanted to be on The Voice as a coach um, after I mentored last time. I think because everything that I like to do in my life is it has to be real, it has to be authentic, it has to be genuine. And I don't think enough people know that how real The Voice actually is. How these kids, when they come in, they I mean, I, I kind of am used to things in this industry not always being what they seem, especially when you watch things on TV. And this is what it seems like. I think a good selling point to um, all the artists that come in, I think is, I want them to have fun on this show. I think it's a very scary show to be a part of actually. Like I, I told all the, all the contestants when I was mentoring that this is probably the hardest gig of your life. You know, you're sitting in front of maybe just like Christina Aguilera or Pharrell or someone and you've, you've never really even sang into the masses before. And I almost feel like that would be easier. I feel like singing in front of thousands of people sometimes is easier to me than singing to just, you know, someone that you're looking at. I think they'll learn so much by doing this and I hope they can just have fun instead of let their nerves take over and just be, you know, scared the whole time. Being able to say, you know, someone is going to win and someone's going to lose on this show and it's okay if I'm either of those and to end up having this be a really great experience and learn as much as you can because you you don't know what the outcome is going to be and you can be the best and you may not win or you can be you can be either way so just to to make it a fun experience. I think um, a main advantage I have of them, I've never pressed that button really in that moment and they press this button so many times that now it's not as much of a magical experience. So I'm looking forward to the experience of being in control of spinning the chair. That's my number one of why I'm here is to spin the, the chair. And, um, but I don't want to give away all my spins too early. I'm also very strategic in the way that I'm planning this of that, you know, you can't get too excited day one and take up all your, on your, all your space on your team. So I'm trying to kind of stay aware of how many spots I have on my team and who's got strong talent on their side and how I can show them how much fun we're having on my team so they wanna, I can steal them. I really like, I never realized too about the stealing is really fun. I really, I saw that a lot um, when I was there and especially with, I think Adam and Pharrell, they love to do that and Adam and Blake, they love to go at it and like steal each other's people. So I hope maybe I can come out and steal some of Adam's teams just to bug him. I think it's going to be very cool to have two female coaches, especially because the way me and Alicia are, our personalities, there's, she's also, she's like me, she's very, she kind of, she says and, and writes in her music, you can tell she speaks the truth, you know, so I think um, as much as they like to play in, in vague, I mean, the world likes to make this like girl, girl cat fight scenario, we're so not those girls, that's actually Blake and Adam who are more those girls. And so we're like a little less, I think, where we want to just pick on each other and like go, we kind of leave the bickering, I think, to the boys, which is what is kind of, I feel like, stereotypical of people, stereotype women to be the ones that bring the drama. But we're both very mellow. Adam and Blake have been here a while and Alicia and I are new. I think there's, we have new thoughts because we've gotten, also they've gotten trial and error I'm sure, so they've probably gotten this down to a science, but sometimes that's not too good. Sometimes you gotta try something new and like step out of your comfort zone. So I think we'll be able to kind of be less of, oh, okay, well this is what works and this is usually how it, we, we're coming fresh into this, you know? And so I think our styles will maybe we'll bring something new to that because we'll just have new ideas. I think maybe they'll they'll kind of learn from times they've won or lost what they want to do differently and we don't have that. So that can work to our advantage and not at the same time. And I feel like Adam's style, I feel like everyone gets um, but the contestants they get put in, you know, if you're if you're rock, you get put with Adam. If you're country, you go with Blake. And I think with me, I don't think there's necessarily that kind of like genre wall you know there's kind of where it's it's kind of more freeing I think if you do country because of my background you could want to be on my team like from growing up like you know Joan Jett is someone I've always looked up to and been a friend and you know my dad always had me around kind of like strong female rocker chicks so I can take maybe some of Adam's kind of rock crew onto mine and then also I'm a sucker for like any sort of ballad and especially a piano ballad so I don't want to go against Alicia but got to it's like not really this you know we're not paired so you know I think maybe that of like I just kind of feel um, 
I feel genreless in my own life because um, I feel like there's times where you can you can do an album, you know, you can do a bangers album, and you can also cover Paul Simon, and that's okay to be the same person because sometimes it's that's life. It's like sometimes you want to listen to Paul Simon, and when you're going out to the club, I don't know if we're really blasting diamonds on the soles of a shoe or not. So I think we're wanting more. I think I can go for both, you know, and I think that'll be fun also for song choices. I think it's important to help people find their style because sometimes I don't I don't actually dress the way I dress to distract. It's a comforting thing to me because I feel like, you know, I don't actually I, I don't, it's very funny, I don't actually love attention on me with all these lights and all these people filming me, but this actually makes me feel very uncomfortable sometimes. That's why I talk an obnoxious amount to fill the awkward space. And I think it's important, you know, for, for um, people to find something that makes them feel comfortable, and I think style can be something that can make you feel comfortable. It's something to kind of not maybe just have everyone staring into your soul. It's like giving them something to look at. So I would like to focus on people's style even if that has nothing even if it's totally different from mine I'm not trying to turn everybody into this you know I want them to this is how I feel comfortable so finding how that style can make them feel more confident as singers because it does I think it does help I grew up in a family where we kind of understood the business you know my dad he didn't when he first started you know he had no idea where to go or what to do or how to even have people listen to your music and so then he kind of figured that out and so he knew you know when I wanted to make this my life when I wanted to be an entertainer my family kind of okay knew this is how you get started when you're in a town like even where I came from when you're in somewhere like Nashville and now even though it was Music City it wasn't as built up as it is now and you just don't know when you're in a small town what to do or where to go or how to get your music out there and also it was a different time too for me and I think we're really lucky to have such a wide reach through the internet and being able to like share our music, not having to wait for a label or for a radio to tell you that your music is good enough, you can just put it out. And I think that was something I tried to make really, um, I tried to stress this to the artist when I saw them when I was mentoring, is I wanted them to know that the internet's your best friend and when you can put out something virally, it, it, you don't have to wait for these people in suits to tell you you're good enough. You can, you can do it. And um, so I think that's important too, to, to kind of show people different ways to get their music out so they don't feel like they have to rely on an industry so much. They have more power. I'm gonna win, so I'm really excited to win The Voice. Um, no, I don't know. I, you can't go into it too cocky, but you also can't go into it too pessimistic, so there's a fine line. Um, I really hope I would win because I think that would be very cool um, and it'd be really fun to tell my friends. Um, but also, I hope that um, I hope that all this is as fun as I think mentoring was, and I think it will be. I just hope it's all. I think it all. I mean, I think it all will be. I'm not really scared of anything. I think this is a very genuine show, and I'm. I don't think anything's gonna be too too crazy it's it's sitting and watching people sing and and helping people make music and producing so it's really it's what i would do every day you know bugging you know somebody and wanting to make music with them so i just get to do this and make it work i guess and it's less about myself which i which i also really like